What is the best CMS for launching a news website in today's era? I analyzed over 1000 news publishers and here's what I found. Now I know how these conversations always start. We talk about the big daddy of CMS. While these stats do reveal the most popular CMS among publishers, it isn't the only one out there. In fact, I'll demonstrate to you that going with the popular choice might not be the right thing for you. Now, let's get the facts right about WordPress. We all love WordPress and out of the 1000 publishers I looked at, nearly 54% used WordPress as their CMS. We dive deeper to see how it affected the split of small, medium and large publishers. Turns out it is popular among small publishers amounting to 65% share for WordPress. Choosing the right CMS is important since it forms the base of all your content. A carefully picked CMS grows with your website, allowing you to engage your audience effectively. Starting off by defining your needs and wants from the CMS is crucial because changing CMSs is a tedious and time-consuming process, which can also turn out to be expensive. Migrating from one CMS to another isn't seamless and could lead to loss of features, broken links, poorer user experience. You get the drift. So how do you pick the right CMS for your news publication? I'll try and cover all the pointers to help you make the right choice. And in case I miss out on any, drop them in the comments. First, let's look at the variables involved before selecting a CMS for your website. The CMSs come in all shapes and sizes. A few CMSs can be self-hosted while others cannot. Self-hosted CMSs put the onus on your tech team or an agency to ensure that the CMS and the website function as intended. WordPress, Joomla and Drupal are examples of CMSs that you can host. On the flip side, managed CMSs provide their own infra and have a team that, for the large part, ensures that the website is properly functioning. If you have a site design in mind, ensure that the CMS you pick allows you to implement it. Some CMSs offer limited themes and customizations, which make it harder for your website to stand out from others based on the same CMS. For example, Bold CMS from Quintype only offers you the option to create the website design using their pre-designed layouts. CMS pricing is one of the first things to look at since it varies significantly from one provider to another. Read the fine print to see what's on offer. Does the CMS include hosting charges or do you need to pay that separately? Does the CMS bundle security for DDoS attacks and offer daily website backups? Does the CMS offer 24-7 support on your plan or are these charged over and above the CMS fees? If you're looking at an open source CMS, consider the fees of the external agency that will manage it or the resources from your tech team that would be required to keep it up and running. What does the pricing for the CMS include? Does it include charges for hosting, security, support? It's better to look at it. Charges can pile up quickly and it's necessary to keep an eye on it when building a media heavy news website. CMSs that offer hosting charge you for the bandwidth you've consumed. These are favorable as long as you're within the limits of the plan. Exceeding it could cost you additional charges in no time. Always account for a few traffic spikes while choosing the CMS to ensure that you have enough headroom. Pay special attention to how you are charged for bandwidth. Is it a cap that resets every month or does it take cumulative bandwidth into account while billing? Another point to ponder while comparing CMSs is the amount of bandwidth on offer. Does it suit your existing traffic? How long is it viable if you keep growing at the same pace? What are the charges when your traffic increases? Now for news publishers looking to cover news in multiple languages, it is essential to look for multilingual capabilities in the CMS. Does the CMS you're looking for have the capability by default? If not, can this feature be added using an integration or a plugin? And most importantly, how does this affect your workflow? If it doesn't fit your editorial team's workflow, it will be slowing them down instead of helping them ramp up. We highly recommend your team to take a demo of the CMS to ensure you get a seamless experience beforehand. Also, assess the different types of formats. Now, news publishers can now experiment with web stories, live blog, even video. So does the CMS allow you to create web stories, for example? Do you embed tweets and posts very often? 
can that be done natively? Check how easy it is to embed them. A crucial element for news publishers is the extensive use of media on the website. This media needs to be relayed to all your readers across the globe. This is where a content delivery network comes into the picture. Most CMSs offer a CDN at no additional cost. Check the bundled CDN to ensure that it has local endpoints in the geography that has most of your user base. In case the included CDN isn't favorable for you, check if the CMS is compatible with the CDN of your choice. A good CDN is essential as it directly affects your website's core web vitals. Evaluate your media requirements and check how much storage does the CMS platform offer. Do you have the option to purchase additional storage or bandwidth separately? If not, well, it might turn out to be expensive. If you are a dynamic website that gets traffic spikes during product launches or e-commerce mega sales, how does the platform build bandwidth in such cases? Affordability isn't really cheap in the news business. Paid plugins and integrations are required. So don't look at the cheapest options to start with. Look at an option that still remains affordable as you scale up. So here are the affordable CMSs to choose from. WordPress VIP or even WP Engage. Hosted WordPress ensures that security, scalability and plugins are easily accessible. The most popular CMSs, like we said right at the start WordPress, can either be hosted from a provider or self-hosted depending on your requirement. This CMS is highly customizable and new features can be added to it using plugins. There's a wide support for themes as well, which makes it easy to customize it the way you want it. Drupal 8. Another open source CMS that is quite popular among news and media publishers. Drupal 8 is the current version of the CMS and Drupal 9 is currently in the works. Previous versions of Drupal have seen support for five years. This CMS can be scaled easily, which is a preference for fast growing newsrooms. Since Drupal is open source, you don't get a company that is backing it up and offering support. You will have to rely on agencies with expertise on Drupal or your tech team for support. Joomla supports a wide variety of content formats and can be customized easily. It is user-friendly and easy to grasp for non-technical folks as well. It can be used to create complex websites with relative ease. If you want to create product pages with pricing details, Joomla offers you the facility to do it. Since it's also open source like WordPress and Drupal, a lot of advancements is community. Ghost is a headless CMS and will benefit you greatly if you have a plan to create your own app. The Ghost CMS offers support for themes and customizations which will help you tailor it the way you want it to look. Ghost allows the ability for readers to sign up, allowing you to build a community right from the get-go. It also offers monetization options, which can be implemented on an article level. The rich text editor allows for images, photo galleries, videos, podcasts, and more to be added into the story directly, which is a big plus for reader experience. Apply themes and customizing the website layout to your taste will need you to engage an external agency or your tech team. Contentful. Contentful decouples the front end from the backend, giving you complete control over how the content is displayed on the website. It has support for multilingual content right out of the box. So for those looking to build a price comparison feature on their website, you can use the data model plugin with Contentful. This CMS also backs up your data on two different servers and offers a 25 day recovery window for any deleted content. A major plus for publishers is Contentful's real time editing capabilities that allows editorial teams to work on articles together. Some users have reported data migration from traditional CMSs to Contentful to be a little tricky, so you need to watch out for that. Strappy. Strappy offers you a self-hosted option or you can opt for a managed plan from Strappy Cloud. Strappy is also a headless CMS just like Contentful, making it easy to show your content in your mobile app. If your publication has a print edition, you can configure Strapi to pull articles from the print software and onto your website. It also makes it easy to import news from syndicated feeds. The Strapi CMS is easy to customize and can be scaled very easily. The database that Strapi maintains can be migrated elsewhere quite easily. The features do seem limited out of the box and will require you to build it either using your tech team or an external agency that specializes in the CMS. 
Sanity. Sanity is a headless CMS, just like Strapi and Contentful. So just like the others, this two decouples the front end and the back end. So you can use APIs to pull data right into your mobile app. Sanity CMS is easy to set up and configure. It offers dynamic collaboration, which allows editorial teams to work on an article together at the same time, speeding up the process. Sanity offers plugin support, which makes it easy to add new features to the CMS. It also has an integrated CDN and allows you to opt for a different one of your choice as well. While Sanity is highly customizable, it also requires more maintenance compared to other platforms. You might need to engage with an external agency since it could be time consuming. Custom CMS. Now that's pretty much the final option. A custom CMS would be the last thing if the solutions that are in the market aren't feasible for your application. The custom CMS allows you to build a website and the backend the way you want it to be. It requires a lot of time, skill developer or an agency with expertise in building newsroom CMSs. The maintenance and upkeep of the CMS is an additional cost that needs to be factored in. New features and additions might need to be specifically developed, which could require longer times and also turn out to be expensive. A custom CMS would favor an enterprise publication with multiple websites using the same CMS. A dedicated tech team might be needed for the development and upkeep of such a CMS. We hope this video helps you make a well-informed decision while picking CMSs. If you're looking for a checklist for things you should consider before locking in on a CMS, I'll add it in this I button above. If you have any questions, do put them in the comments below and I would be happy to help you decide the best CMS for you.